Hey everybody, it is Captain Brynn here with the Elder Scrolls latest gauntlet, which is the Micro Singleton Gauntlet, which is, well, except, uh, can't show it, it's basically, it's a combination of the Micro Gauntlet and the Singleton Gauntlet, you can have, the minimum card count is reduced to 30 for 2 attribute, 45 for 3 attribute decks, these cards are blacklisted. <laughs> Uh, makes sense why these are like the singleton specific cards that are just super duper good they would be automatic includes in these decks and so I guess they just banished them because of that but I am uh, rocking kind of a combination between Stole the Year's Empire list uh, and there was a salty version with old salty the salt comboed or com combined Stole the Year's Master Series Empire Agro Empire list and Old Salty's Assault, and then I took my own liberties and kind of added some things to it, uh, to one fill up the card count and three just to kind of be an overall decent deck. It still doesn't have that many prophecies, uh, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, I might add more. I don't know. It's still very aggro-y, so we'll see. I don't know if it's good. It may not be good but we are going to try it out uh, and you may have noticed that I did not upload two Elder Scrolls Legends videos uh, this week and I'm thinking I'm going to stand by that I am going to back off just to once a week it will either be of the gauntlet a video about the gauntlet or just a deck that I want to play uh, but as far as time goes I've just kind of gotten busier uh, and although I do really like this game uh, people are leaving it right and left and it just kind of makes me sad and it's just kind of hard to find motivation to keep playing this right now I'm currently sitting at Atronach again which is where I was last time and I think we're going to just stay there because today is the last day of it and or of the season and I don't really like the monthly card that much I don't think I'm going to use it that well or that much I'm just not an undead person like I said in a couple other videos I just don't they don't appeal to me for some reason so that's why I'm not uh, I'm just not excited about it I don't know what there is other than to say that about why I don't really like the monthly card. I think it's a useful card. The utility of it is great. I just am not... I don't have any particular desire. I don't have any cool idea with it. So we're just going to leave it as is. Oh. Um, and we're going we're gonna to try to win this. We are shuffling a bunch of cards in. We have turn three Galen, which is amazing. So now it's just a matter of what do we want to shuffle in. I am thinking we shuffle in. We haven't seen much. So I'm thinking we're going we're gonna to shuffle in Young Mammoths just because that is a powerful seven seven with breakthrough the an argument could have been made for gold initiate i think that would be a great play especially since it adds three more prophecies to our deck but it seems like Dela, uh delacy jones is not going to be attacking us and the th there's three anomalies so far and that is this defender and this we have not seen shorn home shorn Helm champion in a very long time. Uh, it has been a long time since we have seen that card uh, see play, which I think is a good thing that we're seeing it being played in this gauntlet. Uh, this defender is weird. I mean, it's a good prophecy, but I thought about making a tribunal deck, and there would have been so many cards I would have included, but I didn't. And I'm kind of surprised by that. I think. I don't know. I'm not sure what this deck is. Interesting. I really don't know what... 
our opponent is doing. Let's just keep going face. Because we are doing very good. We will go there. And we're going to go in the shadow with our recruiter. I will say I am not leaving Legends. I won't leave Legends until the servers die. Um, I will also say that unfortunately I don't think I'm going to be playing the Asian client. I can play it on my phone decently well. Do we have lethal? Seven, nine, not quite. We're very close to lethal though. So let's just go face. This is going to be down to two. So I think we might as well. Is there a Dawnbreaker? On this? That way, again, it has the breakthrough. I know we aren't at Lethal yet, but we might as well draw a couple cards and see where we're at because there's one of our seven costs, or seven power and defense, Young Mammoths. That can be a great finisher. But right now we have lethal with everything, other than our little tiny recruit. Pretty good move. He can drain a bunch of health back. He chooses to go there. I find that an interesting choice, because now he has to go face, which is not what you wanted to do. Especially since I can still kill you. And he went face again. I would have given the garden drain to this. But. I mean, I think I still could have won. Even if he had done that. But. Oh well. Not a bad. Pretty good first game. So, I'll take it. This gauntlet, I don't think I'm going to run three. Unless I just have super good luck. Uh, the rewards are pretty low. Uh, I mean, this is, it's not great rewards, but you're only spending one ticket. You do eventually get a premium and a legendary if you get top 1,000. But I, I don't think I'm going to have time this weekend to put in three runs. So we're going to record this one run and probably call it good. And we're going to go through the whole thing, this entire run. So, we don't want those two. But the cat purse is pretty good. Kind of going up against a battle mage. Well, we have a perfect curve, even without the ring. And we're playing invade. We do not have many answers to invade, other than let's go very, very quickly, which is what we're going to do. We're going to ring out Young Mammoth next turn. And then the following turn, we might be able to play our Cat Purse and Trapper and maybe one more card if we have another one cost creature. Uh, we're going to really try to push damage because we do not have many... Uh, hey, we are actually going to play Pit Lion because that is the best. That is the best and possibly the quickest way to get pit line out is have the recruiter pilfer with him which gets another unit in the uh, other lane and on turn two you can have a pit lion so we have a pretty good start for uh what we want to do so let's pilfer and then go face and then go face again and this time Young Mambas is coming down and we're going to go ahead and play Deepwood Trapper over here. Because this uh, Maroon's Dagon Flare is going to have to go on one of these two creatures with Jess. He can break the ward and cause an invade. Uh, but if he, I was like, I can kill this guy pretty easily. But if he wants to attack and give us cards, go for it. Go for it, various T. I want more cards. 
I dare you. <laughs> a Daedro? Ooh, he is going to give me a card because he wants to invade. Interesting. So the question is, do we kill this or not? Depends on what we draw. We are going to get overrun if we don't do something. I think we need to do a bit of board control. So let's play the hunting. Oh wait, we only have four. So let's play the cat purse. And our pawnbroker, just in case if we can get... Well, we didn't get a card we want. But we will go there. We will go there with you. Our mammoth is going to kill that. And we will pilfer, go here, and our zero, two, or zero, one. What am I saying? Zero, one. Our goblin is going over here. And in this next turn, we should have enough creatures to get spoils down to one and still play Haunting Spirit. Actually get spoils down to zero, not one. Although having it at one or two would still be playable. And our opponent is on the run. They don't have a... They're, with Singleton, you kind of... You need to build a deck that has a lot of things that need answers. And because... Or... You need to build a deck that has that requires a lot of answers, that demands a lot of answers, because uh, your opponent is limited in that they don't have the necessary answers, and uh, yeah, that's kind of how you do things. Very very close. Let's. I probably should have played that a turn before. Um, Anasi will be great whenever he rolls out keywords. But I think we just... Let's just go face. We will kill you. And we will kill... Eh, we'll save the marked man. I think we're good to win. For a win, but I don't feel as confident. Although we do have a Na Anasi, so if he does get a bunch of keywords from his gate, we can swing past and kill almost everything. Like, having his key, giving us his keywords is just almost stupid and ridiculous. <laughs> Granted, I do not hate invade... Uh, Okay, let me take that back. Anasi would be ridiculous against Invade, but it would also be hilarious. Ooh. I got one keyword to Invade again, so now it's two keywords. I almost want to just play Anasi just to be like, ha, huh, you had no chance. Ooh, Barabbas. Not Barabbas, Barbara. What's the name? Barbus. Not Paradipus. <laughs> totally different. Well, see, yeah, see, you can guard up a lane, but can't can't stop it. That's what you get for playing Invade. I think Invade is a horrible idea in this micro singleton golem because you do not have like Invade requires you build a deck with a ton of invading cards. And you can't do that when you only have 30 individual cards. Like, it, you're just not going to be able to build a good enough invade deck. I thought about doing a pilfer deck, but you need Master of Thieves or Thieves Den. And I was like, no, it, it wouldn't work. I thought about doing a buff deck, which I think would work. But it's my version of the buff deck wouldn't work. And so I didn't want to try to make a new one. I love that hand. <laughs> We're having like the best run so far. Uh, we're going to fifth legion trainer in the shadow, then we're going to start dumping all this over here. Young Mammoth will be next, followed by Pit Lion. 
Crusade, so the reason why I went with aggro is kind of what I was saying earlier. You are setting up a whole bunch of threats that need to be answered. And you're forcing your opponent to answer them, and then they don't have the all of the answers. They will have answers. You will be countered. But I don't think you will be countered as easily because once someone has played a card, you know they do not have a copy of that card. Unless they Galen, or... I think Kaylin's about the only way to shuffle cards back in. Uh, let's just keep going, Chase. We will put Pit Line in the field. And we might as well Mud Crab over here. In case if he's got a charge creature, he can't kill it. And I know he can kill our Fifth Legion Trainer, which would be his best idea. It would have been a better idea to go and play the Mark Defense. Granted, we do have Young Mammoth to break through that. That's a good idea. We have Black Dragon. Black Dragon is kind of useless for its ability. We're going to kill that. But I threw it in here just because it is a great four cost card, especially in aggro, because it, like all we are doing, playing the, or running this card in our deck for, boom, there we go. All we're doing it for is to get power, like that is three super cheap five power or four power creatures. Like that is that board setup was amazing. And that's what Black Dragon does. It's super good. Uh, furthermore, you have the potential to prevent lethal because it is immune to lethal. And just in case if your opponent is running lethal cards or creatures, you have way like that. That just makes that creature so much harder to get by. So, Black Dragon, great card. Or, a Green Dragon is also pretty good. <laughs> I have a lot of, I love miniature games, so I will go in like to garden section of Hobby Lobby or any other hobby store and find little miniatures that you're supposed to put in your garden and I'm like, what would these actually like do in a garden <laughs> or be useful for we're gonna keep this hand this is pretty good uh, we are three and oh I wonder if we can just one if we can nine and oh this also this divine forever by far my favorite favorite alternate art also I did hear uh, someone, a friend in the game, uh, complained about why didn't they uh, put a particular, or why don't they like use these alternate arts for another unique card? Which is totally understandable. That's a sign that the game's dying. Is all these alternate arts coming out and being so easily accessible, or not e accessible, easily acquired? Like they generally want to have people pay for these arts rather than just giving them away as rewards for participating in an event or even like the Festival of Madness they just had every single one of those was a hundred coins there was never anything that costed money or anything so that's just another sign the game's dying he did not attack thank you pal I am greatly surprised by that I'm going to put Black Dragon over here I am not going to kill this, especially since he did not attack. That makes me think he's a slower deck, even though his two cards are definitely aggro. But back to the alternate new cards. For one, that's a sign the game's dying. Two, I think the Elder Scrolls have enough art and alternate arts just from the variety of their games, because I'm pretty sure these cards were not drawn specifically for this game. They are definitely images that could have been drawn for the Elder Scrolls Online, for Skyrim, so on and so forth. And I think uh, that's where they're pulling all the art from. So I think they have a huge number of uh, arts to pull from. And hopefully... so. Huffingar Marauder definitely 
got nerfed as more items came out. Because uh, there's like the fork, that's a bad one. Uh, Gardener's sword, that's a bad one. Uh, there's several bad items now that kind of nerfed him just because the chance is not as good of getting a item that you want. Steel sword is a great item. That is a great, great item. That sucks. Although we could fervor. And yeah, we we're in a bind right now. We are in a bind. I'm kind of saying we fervor, but yet I think the smarter plan is not fervor. And it's to this. Into this. Play this. Get on going back. Play our assassin. And then play mud crab depending on what we draw. I was kind of hoping for another assassin. Unglim is great, especially in that he can combo with this, and he's giving us three, one cost, three threes. Like, that's super good. But right now, maybe playing Hafengar Marauder was a bad idea. I think that was a misplay. We should have played either Fervor then or some other cards. So far, he has not triggered the expertise of this guy, so we will have our last rune. But... There, he triggered it. So now the question becomes, can we win? Or do we lose? I don't think we lose, because we can... We can steal this and play our drain creature down. And we can kill both of these creatures. So let's do that. We're going to kill this. We'll deal a bit of damage. We will not kill you yet. We will steal the guard from you. Then we will kill you. And then we will kill you. And then we will play Golden Initiate kind of as a last hope that he cannot get past this guard. However, it's Crusader. There are plenty of ways to get past this guard. It's just a matter of, does he have one of those three cards? And I don't even want to begin listing the cards. There's so many cards that he could have to get past this guard. But he chooses to attack, which means we might have our way out. We have Dawnbreaker to equip to this. Maybe we don't Dawnbreaker. Nope, we Dawnbreaker. Because we can survive. We Dawnbreaker here. And now I'm saying we Deep Wood Trapper here. Let's go ahead and Mud Crab. That's Mud Crab. Ooh, this is horrible. Because he can. Oh my gosh. This sucks. Mud Crab, what the heck kind of offer is this? Um. I think we gotta take lay down the arms. We can get rid of Nagleave if he decides, but I think we have to take this just so we can keep our drain creature alive. We will not attack. Instead I'll attack this. But this way his champion can only hit the trapper. If he decides to play Nagleave over here, it's great. We can still kill it with gold initiate. However, he, I was about to say, if he goes face, he basically wins or attacks this creature because he does deal seven to me and then he can play Nahai Gleave over here, which is fine because we can still Divine Fervor and other things. So, 
we can kill this. It's just a matter of do we also want one more point of health. And I don't think we want that extra point of health. I think we <laughs> I think we go here and thieves do. I think that's I don't wait uh, this is this is close because we can definitely rise to win it uh, next turn. Oh no, we can't. We would be one short. So, depending on what he has to play, I'm thinking fervor and lay down to arm, lay down arms. Good, that's basically useless. Ooh, we can give plus two to everything. Let's do a bit of control, just a bit. A bit of control. Kill you. And then actually, let's go ahead and just do this and consume a creature. Maybe it doesn't matter what. We'll consume that. Uh, everything does have one more. I'm pretty sure you can't deal 10, so we're just going to pass and finish him off next turn. Because we have Roz to come down. We have Lay Down Arms in case if something bad shows up. He did create a creature. What did he create, I wonder? Good! We win! Nice. Nicely done. I'll pat myself on the back. <laughs> what was that, four? Four and zero. Yeah, four and zero. Rank twelve. Has somebody already got all the way? Not quite. No one has done a perfect run. So let's see if we can. Let's see if we can be the first to do a perfect run. Oh wait, that eleven and one could be a perfect run. Could have had a perfect run, and then lost one in the second run, or maybe they lost one on the first run. Well, we do not want these two cards because we want them to come later. Young Mammoth is great for turn three. Turn one, turn two, turn three. There we go. And even Old Salty's Assault is probably a bad inclusion now that I think about it. Because of how he become he just got worse. Ooh. Let's go with Imbued Breton. Um uh, this 1-1 one, one guard is not horrible, especially with Young Mammoth to get by, and if he decides to play it, this Mud Crab can essentially take him out. But he goes with the Jackal instead. Let's go this Mud Crab. This, this telegraphs aggro. Very much tells, telegraphs aggro, which we are definitely aggro because we just ran mer uh, Mud Crab Merchant. Pit Lion is going to come down before Young Mammoth in the field lane. He successfully blocks that. Again, is fine. Maybe. We'll go Pit Lion in the shadow just so we can kind of take control because this Empire list doesn't have to go full aggro. It can slow down, kill some creatures, and then finish you off. And that's kind of what I'm hoping. It has the second Shadow Mirror of this Gauntlet. I don't know if Shadow Mirror is that great. I've trapped him, and I've never regretted it since. Other than regretting it simply for having the... Uh, complete collection. Bleak Coast Troll is going down! Because we have, yeah, Young Mammoth, Pit Lion, Bleak Coast Troll, 
there's a lot we have a lot of four five three costs that are four five or yeah four or five power it's ridiculous how many there are and that's why aggro decks are pretty good so we can kill both of these guys yes we'll lose our pit lion and I'm kind of wondering if our opponent is trying to or debating killing this And he goes face. Okay. Well, what do we want to do? We definitely want to kill you. Yeah, I think we want to kill you. And then we play the Mute Breton. And we will pass on that. Memorial, I have never used. There's a lot of good combinations because it's just when he leaves play, which means he's tran not transformed. Uh, but when he it goes to the other lane, another copy of him. So, like, you can trigger him more than once. So, like, there, there are ways to bring him back around. So, just throwing that out there. I haven't done the combos because they just haven't been that appealing. Like, they they are cool. I will admit that. Ooh, what props are you playing, bro? Spider. And he went face with this, which I think is a mistake. So I'm thinking Young Mammoth and Crusader Assault. So let's go here. Ah, Crusader Assault. East March Crusader. We'll go here, and we will also play Young Mammoth. We will kill you, and we'll go face. I know we wasted a Cat Purse, but Cat Purse isn't that great uh, compared to the other creatures we have on the board. We do have Wilds Incarnate now to be a great defender. This is a very good scout aggro i have not seen many scout aggro decks so i commend them on their originality four eight twelve not quite but let's uh, we got a buck. Gotta play wilds. We will go and deal that. And we'll get him down to 16. Uh, maybe more. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep pushing. We'll get him down to eleven. And then sit. Um a Nasi could be good. It just kinda depends on what he plays. If he plays a charge creature, we have it. If we draw Fervor, we have it. If we draw an Oathman, we have it. If we draw Mercenary Captain, we have it. There's a lot of ways we come out on top. There's also a handful of ways that we die. Like that. Because now we can get past the guard. We still have nine. We are lacking three. We don't have it. Oh, wait. We do have it. We have Roz. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? So let's go face. And he hits a prophecy. Ooh, it's not a, not a good enough prophecy. Oh wait, we have it right now. Dawnbreaker. We don't need to worry about this last room. And we have Dawnbreaker. Woohoo! Nice. 5-0. Oh. Actually, I'm doing pretty good. Did not expect this good 30 minutes ago I was expecting kind of bad I don't know how well this deck would do on the ladder it was very good and then Jaws of William came out and I haven't played it at all it was part of the reason why I dusted it off and threw it in here but I, I don't know I don't know if it would do good oh sorry did not mean to have that 
on. <sighs> also, I, uh, I, I use my gems, <laughs> to say the least. Oh, um, I believe I got... Oh, I don't remember the cat's name. It's the one cost legendary in willpower. Pilfer, plus one, again, keyword. And I threw it because I had that Khajiit quest and I also had a Pilfer ten times, so I crafted and threw it in my Pilfer Dominion deck. And I did pretty well. I got the, all Pilfers in one go. We do one, don't want any of that. Throw all that away. Get a one, two, and three. Or a one and a three and a five. Not bad. Old Salties is better than it was last game because we were only pulling two cards from it or five and it's kind of not worth it at five. Mud Crab, give us a better deal. Ooh, I want Mage Slayer. I want Mage Slayer so bad because that, that was a good trade. That was a good deal. I love Mage Slayer. The art is great. He's basically... Captain America like come on guys this is Captain America but in Elder Scrolls Legends like he's got Mjolnir he's got the shield doesn't have a star in it but it's got a constellation and constellations are made up of stars does that count <laughs> oh for Galen I think we copy Roz I know that's weird but that's the only thing we can copy right now and it's a charge creature that would be seven attack. Also, as far as Elder Scrolls content, the once a week thing that I mentioned earlier, uh, it will probably be Friday, Saturdays, and when it is released. Uh, yeah, we're copying Ross because we're doing very good. But it'll be Friday and or Saturday because I'm going to try to do this to the recording just like I'm doing now Friday morning right as the event drops and uh, get a move on with creating the content. Play Emperor's Blade to guard up this lane. There are no four cost lane wipes. So... I feel pretty safe doing that. Yes, he can do that and still kill it with Reeve. But then I will just kill Reeve myself. Because Reeve has to go. Reeve can't uh, snowball. And it's fine if he banishes it. Ooh, and he destroys that. That is a very interesting choice. I guess he... No, what? That's an interesting card. Do we let Reeve live? Or do we... We're aggro. We want the damage. Let's go here. And then we'll go here. What do we got? We got the one that deals... We, we might as well play this. We'll play in the shadow. And just to have some extra bodies. Oh... Uh, I know we could have played Spoils and another creature, but I just thought that was a better play. And he got rid of Reeve himself. He dealt damage to us. Huffing Gun Marauder might be useful. Is he seriously running Invade? It's a little late for Invade, although he did get Drain. But if we can draw Roz, yeah, we, we're in good shape. So let's play this. Let's give this an item initially. Oh, that's a great item. And then let's give this an item. Ooh, too bad I didn't have that item earlier. Okay, we have three more damage to do. Roz is dealing seven. He's about to get three, so he'll be at six health. We can still kill him. I'm really glad I shoveled the Roz in.
good. We actually win with everything that's on the board. So, but just, <laughs> we drew two. Good game. We didn't even get to do it. We had two of them. <laughs> Man, we're doing... I am really, really surprised by this. I might actually have to do all three just to see if I can get top. If I go 9-0, I will do three runs. But I'm kind of... I'm expecting a loss. But hey, I would like to do just three more games and go 9-0 and, and then we're done with the video. <laughs> Maybe I... I don't know. I don't know how I'll edit it. If I'll edit it, because I might not have to. At the moment, it's just, we go. We'll pass on the Shadow Shift, because we don't need it. It's a good cycle, especially for later. Does roll. Do, do roll? I don't know how you would say this. But, fifth lead in trainer into cat purse maybe into ankle snapper that's a good card fizzling trainer in the shadow you know i gotta thank silver fuse now every time i think of this card see this card all i can think of is her repeating a find like this belongs in the museum when she, I don't know what combo she did. She was doing something where this card was being played and she says it like 10 times in a video and it just has it forever stuck in my head. Now every time I hear this, I hear Silver, Boy, Silver Fuse's voice rather than Ratway, uh, what was it? Purveyor? Prospector. Yeah, I'm gonna also turn my own creature that's gonna be getting serious buffs and then we're gonna play Bleak Coast Troll and hopefully kill you. Kill that rat white prospector. Killed Fifth Legion Trainer. And he has breakthrough. That's annoying. Oh my gosh. So he has an action still in hand. We will play you. We will play the troll over here. I really don't know why I played the troll over here. That's kind of a bad move because I could have played it here. But this is going to be a problem. We don't have a good way of killing it. And yeah, he can still kill that. I'm kind of hoping we can hit a prophecy soon. Yikes. Let's go face. Trying to keep up. Let's go Angle Snapper into Pawnbroker so our Captain and Osman can actually be useful. And hopefully our zero cost card is something useful. Oh, we shackle! Let's shackle that! And maybe we can kill it. Okay, what did he draw? He drew an item. So this is a very traditional battle mage. Items... Oh, uh, steel scimitars, the daggers, he yeah, had the cloak just showed up. He's about to kill this. Yeah, I'm guessing he kills this. Nice. Nicely done. That was a good move. Ooh! Yes, we are shadow shifting. But what do we kill? Oh, what do we kill? I'm like stunned right now. What do we kill? Do we kill this because it's been annoying, or do we kill this because it's powerful at the moment? I think we do that, and then we'll play Black Dragon down. I know, or I said Osman, our captain, is next turn, but I decided not to do that. Clovia? Sylvia? Sylvia, I think is how? I think I've been saying Clovia, but I think it's Sylvia. Just spelled with a C. Let's go face. We can race him now. And we'll play you. And now this has guard. 
And now, yes, Radway can kill that little bitty guard and still deal a bunch of damage to our face. Still needs a support. I was like, if he found the other thing, we're dead. But we're not. Ah, shoot, we are dead. He can seal sword. Good game. That's it right there. Darn it, that was a bad move. Oh, that was so stupid. We could have skinned the hound. That was stupid. I can't believe I did that. That was so stupid. Man, I feel dumb. Oh well. Six and one. Like I said, I, this is a very, there's no pressure on this gauntlet. There's no, like, there's not motivation to hit top 1000. There's not, it's just a very chill, competitive event. Like, I like it. It's very chill. I, I'm having fun. It's great. It's just chill. Another scout. Did we play him? Gosh, I can't keep up with all the names if we played someone or not. Ooh, <laughs> I love this combo. I love it. Oh, we have one, two, three. Man, this is great. Unglum's going in the field. Hopefully he dies. And Loyal House Carl was one that I threw in here because it's a great prophecy. And not a bad... It's not a bad card. Hi, kitty. We have kitty. Oh, good. He kills it. He has no idea how bad of a move that was. Oh, he has no idea. Yeah, he shovels a 4-4 four, four in there. But guess what? I'm about to shovel more assassins in here. Okay, buddy. Come on. Here is Mufasa. I don't know if I've shown him on the channel or not. He's made a few videos where he's gotten cut out of it. But here he is. He's a big doofus, and he just wants to be petted and held all the time. Because he is an adorable and loving kitty that just wants attention. But then he's got a mess of brain where he wants to chew on wires. He wants to chew plastic cards that are in card sleeves. He wants to chew up anything and everything. We gave him a stick, and he chewed it up. We gave him... A dog chew bone and he ate he chewed it he didn't like really indent uh, into the bone or anything but he did chew it up so you know what let's keep shuffling in assassins I think that's a great idea and we'll go in the shadow this time <laughs> we're gonna start rolling through our deck we now have nine assassins eight assassins left in our deck and they don't have ways to banish it which is good, which another reason why I'm comfortable doing that is I don't think there are people would be running the banishing cards because you don't want to be banishing one unless they shuffled things in. So Piercing Twilight Out, which was another perk that of the micro gauntlet. Last time they had the micro gauntlet, the Piercing Twilights were just super good. Ooh. It is another aggro scout. Which I think we can... We can kill some things. Let's kill... Let's kill you. Let's equip an item to you. Let's kill the mammoth. We'll, uh, we'll wait to play this. But we will go here, here, and face... Oh wait, we're going to play the hunting spirits. And we're good. Very good position. Have tons of bodies. I think we could win next turn, especially if we get a fervor. Ooh, we will not win next turn. That was great move. Great move, pal. Great move. Let's stop some damage. We're gonna go here, go there, we'll draw a card, but I think we are still going to kill this mud crab, because I think he's got enough charge creatures that he could kill us, but we're in a good position, uh, 
I am really not worried. I know we could have dealt five more damage and had him at ten, but... Ooh, he spends his entire turn to get rid of one creature that really doesn't get rid of it. Because it's... Yep. It has been engaging Hunt. So let's optimize this. And then we'll go there. I don't think we can really win. But he thinks we can. We might be able to actually. Let's see what we draw. Nope. Oh wait, yes we can. We have ankle biter. Ah! Maybe not. Smooth. That sucked. Let's go there. And we will go ahead and play this guy down. Darn it. That was a dumb move. I should have attacked with this guy and had the assassin actually been able to kill the recruit. I still think we win. He can't. He doesn't have Ice Storm to deal with this. He did have the giant snake that he could have played or could have used again. Oh, wait, no, he doesn't. He's already used the giant snake. Good game. Thank you. And since you were so nice, we will kill you quickly. Although we had a we had a ton of stuff. Seven and one. Here we go. And we finally got that. And look, we're the highest rank ever that I've ever been. Rank five. I'm top ten. Too bad it's like day one and nobody's really played it. What did we get? Nothing. Seven and one. Let's keep going. We're doing good. Two more games. Hopefully within eight minutes. That way the video is less than an hour. But if it's not, it's fine. Buddy, you are a pill. He is just falling off the chair. He just really, really wants to snuggle. But he's too big to like sit in that little hole I can make with my arm, but so he just has to stay here and uh, fall down and want down and then he wants back up and then he'll want down and he wants up. Thankfully he's not tried to get on the computer. Computer! Hit a like hit that like button if you get the reference. Pewter! See? Nothing. Pewter. Unglim. Followed by Willy Kiva, then Haunting Spirit. Nope, fifth leave to drink. Who is online? The Michaela, ranking up. I thought maybe rank, but I'm fine with h and Although maybe I should, I can, I'll still try. Maybe I'll try in my off time. Downside, this is a risky move. Playing Haunting Spirit with no board and he can kill this. So if he kills this, then it's worthless. But hey, still takes out a card. Do do. Then I got lunch to go eat. Good, he didn't quite kill it. So now we can actually target what it lands on. Not really. We'll target this though. We'll go there, and then we'll go here in the field. Yes, he's got lethal, and he's got the... Ooh, let's go and play that down. And we're going to discard you. We don't need you. Uh, Wilds and Carn is going to be great. 
house carl i'm thinking we play on this to kind of and play it in the field lane and play it over here if he does have viper it's kind of a waste Ooh, actually let's change that up a bit let's play this in the field lane but play it on this and then we'll go face Although old salties would have been a good move there too. We haven't played a single mud crab or drawn. So next turn, we should do old salties. And he can kill this guard. He just kills the cat too. It's also been forever since we've seen this cat. It's a very cool card. I like it. Looks cool. Premium probably looks even better. Yep, old salties. We will wait to play old salties though. We'll go here and there. Hit a prophecy, naturally. Dude, your pill. I don't want to be licked. Come on. What's your prophecy? Hello? Are you here? He did finally play it. Let's go in the field, kind of also in the shadow, with our mud crabs. And we are giving them Shine Guardian or Mountain Lion. I don't want to give them the guard. So they can have a mountain lion. Next turn, Wilds is going down. Empire Osman. On cue. On deck, actually. He could win, depending on how he deals with the board. He can kill this. He can kill another thing. So we'd be left with probably a 2 and a 1. So that's 3. We can get by this and have... Probably three, so that'd be six. And when you give three more, we'd be at nine with Empire Oathman. Unless we dealt with the fire's gonna recruit and with a card that we draw. Dude, you are a pill right now. I know my online would have been a great card to keep, but this one is just too good of a guard. Whoa, he kills that? Bad move, bro. Bad move. Bad move, unless you can get rid of that. And does he? Does he kill it? He did. Nicely done. Nice. Okay, so Wild is coming down. Wilds will go over here. Kind of protect what few creatures we can have in here. Yay! Got fervor. Got East March. We have ways to really boost things. And we really only need an agility card for Osman to be relevant. You don't need the willpower card to gain one extra health, but it's pretty good if you can trigger it. Come on, Gilgad. Gilgad, 
How do you say his name? Gallon. I need to go get lunch. Nicely done. Ooh. However, ooh, even better. Although, I still win because he can't deal with the moose. And the moose goes in for the win. Good game. Good game. Eight and one. One more win. And then we'll call it quits. Whew. We ranked three. <laughs> Highest ever, but hey. At least gotta take something. Someone can't hear from this big cat just coming off of him. It's a little annoying, but man, the queue's taking longer. Which is another sign that the game is dying. This has been happening quite a bit and she's making me sad. Although World of Mist is still a minute, but that's on the total opposite end of the spectrum that Legends is. World of Mist is just starting. This is ending. Although maybe no one's in the queue right now. Cause it is early on in the gauntlet. Come on. But for those who are still around, I will, uh, how am I gonna do it? I was about to say I can do a pack giveaway. Um, let's, I'll just verbally read it again. Um, uh, I think that worked last time. At least, maybe it didn't. Maybe someone hasn't claimed it yet. But, uh, I'm pretty sure there's there's still one available. Let me pull it up real quick uh, while we're still waiting. Uh, I can tell you the first letter is a capital H. Uh, but that's better because I'm not sure which ones we are at. Hey, we finally found somebody. Okay, I'll just go with that. And then save it. Come on. Over here. Can I still open? Yeah, come on. Come on, legends. Pick up. Man, what is going on? Okay, well, I'll... Here's, a, here's the code. I know this one has not been selected. I just want to kind of go in order. Maybe here we'll do this. We will still open a new one. And we'll go with that. Sorry, guys. We have no good hand. Fortunately, we didn't get the mulligan because ledges didn't load quick enough, but that's fine. We are still good. Okay. So now the code is capital H9. Let's go and play this. Capital H927 dash. All of these letters are actually capitalized. So, uh,. The next set of four is Q E seven G. Then next is H two R six. And then six Y P and B. 
both of them. Um, and then the last four is U four R four. Nicely done. That was a good move. And we will kill you. And I'm gonna play you down. I know I could have played Cloud Rest and kind of kept that alive, but I'm kind of hoping to use that for something that actually would do zero damage. But ooh, that's a good move. That's a good move. We might even just play Cloud Rest without doing or without utilizing its ability. All right, this is very, very aggressive archer. Very aggressive archer. So, let's play Hafengar. I know that's reckless, but hey, we're gonna do it anyway. So to repeat the code. Ooh, interesting. We also had a prophecy, and that is a bad prophecy. So again, the code is H nine two seven. Right? Yes, H nine two seven R D nine H H two R six six Y P B and U four R four. And I think we've lost, guys. This kind of sucks. Maybe we didn't. Maybe we can still survive. Not dead yet. Not dead yet. Dude, my lap is not big enough, and you are too big to roll around. And we lost. Okay, eight and two. And I blame that one just on me not paying attention enough. We didn't get a good mulligan. I was being distracted trying to give you guys pack code for supporting me all the way through uh, the video. And, you know, AIM 2 is still pretty good. I'm very satisfied with where we're at. Uh, even, if we, even with two losses, we could still go all the way, maybe push top 10, top 50. But we'd have to repeat this luck, and I don't think we would be doing that well. Let's get rid of each East March. Corner Club is good. Reflecting what Tom Tom is me. Bend our Arbutus. Turn one is perfect. And we now have a great curve. In the field or in the shadow, because I like the opportunity to go in the shadow, because then your opponent wants, it, or you're encouraging your opponent to go in the shadow to block it. And then we can reflect an automaton into the field. We could even shadow shift over, but I don't think we need to shadow shift over. I think we just need to keep it alive. Also, I really like this card. This is like a great lore card of how it like utilizes the ability and actually goes with the name like a well designed card not op not bad at all so we are actually going to get rid of shadow shift that's a little weird but i don't want to get rid of cloud rest and i don't want to get rid of spoils you know we still need to play something because he probably does not have an answer Wow, a lot of one power creatures. I'm wondering if he's got the uh, unrelenting siege going on. Let's just go here. Let's. We're going face. I know he can pilfer us down pretty hard, but hey, we're the aggro here. If he wants to give us cards, by all means, go for it. Water is good. Also, please tell me what you think of my new logo. I worked on the shield and made it more realistic. Added my change up to be a bit. I randomly found the font and then got an idea. 
from that font and carried on. So this is just and Nazi is gonna be great when that beefs up. Hmm. Let's gamble. Let's gamble on items. Ooh. <laughs> oh, we high roll that sucker, dude. We just shut down the pilfer deck. Ama oh, you give me, give me a good card. Give me a great card. Give me, give me a great card. Give me a great card. That's not bad at all. That is not bad at all. <laughs> oh, that is so bogus. That is great. Oh, that was so good. Oh, that was so good. Oh, that was good. And now he can't kill that. Oh, that's that is just wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, so good. Okay. Let's give Tullius an item. We did it, guys. Because we also have Cliff Racer, but we don't need Cliff Racer. Woohoo! Nine and two. Could have been nine and one had I actually been paying more attention. Although that last our last opponent was a very good aggro deck, so uh, I am totally fine with that loss. Uh, so, there you guys have it. I know it was a very long video, but I hope uh, that pack code for two Jaws of Oblivion packs uh, is sufficient uh, to thank you for uh, sticking with me this whole way through. We will go ahead and open up these packs uh, and see what we get. I know we, we have the entire Jaws of Oblivion set. But hey, we couldn't always pull a random premium. And then Martin was a great... Uh, that was a good piece of evidence that I have the entire set. Ooh. And Lord of the Arena again. No premiums though, but hey quite a bit of good soul gems and we're currently sitting at number three that's awesome but not gonna stay there for long now it's just it's downhill from there we got 1300 gems from all those packs pretty good I don't know what I'll craft next but hey look I'm at the top of the leaderboard yay <laughs> holy cow that dude's 17 and 1 that's pretty amazing he was 11 and 1 a little bit ago so, uh, thank you all for watching and uh, supporting me throughout this entirety. Legends has been uh, a blast. It's been, I've loved every moment of it. Uh, we actually did face the same opponent twice, and we beat him both times. I am sorry. Dude, we, we lost to Ryzen High. He was top of the list. Uh, so, I don't feel bad about that at all. Um, so, thank you all for watching. We'll see you guys next time.